In this video, I am going to talk about Venn diagram and some other types of sets. These sets are different from what I talked about in my previous video, which was about equal sets, equivalent sets, and empty sets, etc. Venn diagram is a graphical representation of sets. All sets comes from a universe called the universal set and represented by the letter U. This universal set contains all the elements with some common attribute that we want to study. For example, population of a country or students in a university can belong to a universal set and then we can create sets from the universal set. If students from university belong to our universal set, then we can have a set of students studying computer science or mathematics. In Venn diagram, the universal set is a rectangle and sets are circles that may or may not overlap each other. We'll come back to that later. At the beginning, the elements are part of universal set U and when you make a set, they belong to the set if they have the property to be member of the set. Suppose n is the set of natural numbers and it's our universe. To show the natural number set using Venn diagram, we'll make a rectangle. Let a be a set of all even numbers less than 11. Then a contains elements 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. We did not add 0 because natural numbers start with 1. Now draw a circle inside the rectangle and show all even numbers within the circle. This is the Venn diagram representation of a set with elements. All numbers that are not shown in circle are in the universe U. Let's take another example. Let X and Y be two sets with elements. The set X has elements 2, 5, 6 and set Y has elements 4, 5, 9. If we construct these two sets using Venn diagram, the circles that represent these two sets are overlapping. It is because they have a common element 5. The elements are shown as dots in Venn diagram. The Venn diagrams are useful in visualizing the set operations like a union intersection, set difference, etc. We will explore the set operations in future lessons. Let us talk about subsets. Let there be two sets A and B. The set A is subset of set B if and only if every single element of set A is also an element of set B. We can also write this in equation form. A is subset of B equals for all x, x in A implies that x in B. For sets that are not subsets, it is denoted as A is not a subset of B equals for all x, x in A implies that x not in B. Here is a Venn diagram representation of subset. Since A is subset, it is inside of a bigger circle representing set B. When we talk of subsets, there is a theorem. If A is a set, it is guaranteed that it has at least two subsets, empty set. Empty set is subset of all sets and the set itself, the set automatically becomes subset of itself because it has all the elements. This brings us an interesting problem. If you remember that equal sets are two sets with same elements, if x and y are two equal sets with same elements, then we can prove that they are equal. If we can show that they are subsets of each other. So let a be set of all odd numbers less than 10 and b be set of members 1, 3, 5, 7. First, empty set is member of both sets. Second, all elements in set A are also in set B and all elements of set B are in set A. Therefore, they are subsets of each other and equal. Now we talk about proper subsets. 
A is proper subset of B such that all elements of A are in B but some element of B are not in A. It can be written in logical form as for all x, x in A implies that x in B and for some x, x in B and x not in A. The proper subset is denoted as A proper subset of B. The Venn diagram of proper subset will look like this for some set A and B. Now the question comes to our mind, how many subsets can we make from a given set? This kind of set which contains only subsets of a set is called its power set. If its set A is an ordinary set with three elements then power set of A is denoted as P A and the number of subsets in a power set is 2 raised to n. In our case set A has three elements so it has 2 raised to 3 equals 8 subsets or 8 members. The power set of set A look like this and it has two guaranteed subsets the empty set and itself as members. Two sets that are not related at all it means they don't have any common elements are called disjoint sets. It is opposite of subsets. If we drew the Venn diagram of disjoint set then it will look like two separate circles away from each other. It is because their elements are different. Finally let us talk about supersets. If set A has all the elements of set B then set A is superset of set B. It is denoted as A superset of B. Proper superset is when A is superset of B but A is not equal to B. There are some elements that are only available in set A. Let A be a finite set with elements 1, 3, 8, 7, 4 and B be set with elements 3, 7. Then A is superset of B because it has all the elements of set B. It is also a proper superset because A is not equal to set B. If we draw a Venn diagram for set A and set B, it looks similar to the Venn diagram of subsets where B is subset of A. Here are some properties of superset. Every set is a superset of empty Z because empty set has no elements in it. Also empty set is member of every set. If B is a subset of A, it means that A is a superset of set B. Therefore, we can say that the supersets are opposite of subsets. This is the reason their Venn diagram looks similar. However, set description is different. Let us review things that you learned in this video. First, you learned the basics of Venn diagram and know how to represent sets and universal sets. Next, you have understood the universal set as a bigger set from which you can get other sets. You learned about subsets that contains elements from other sets. You know about proper subsets which are similar to subsets but contains less elements than that of its supersets. Our set is a set of subsets. These joint sets are two unrelated sets. And finally supersets that has all the elements from its subsets. Thank you.